It has come to my attention that the Snezhnayan harbinger known as the Knave wants a diplomatic meeting with you, correct? I heard that she was originally from Fontaine, but for her to suddenly arrive here and abruptly request such a meeting like this, I sincerely advise you to refuse her invitation outright. Hmm. I'm sure you're aware that her purpose is most likely related to Child's recent predicament. We convicted one of the Snezhnayan Harbingers in a court of law, but we have yet to provide any form of detailed report on the matter. This does indeed provide an opportunity for Snezhnaya to put pressure on us. I believe we should adopt an evasive stance until we can provide a proper explanation and have a preliminary plan on how to deal with the matter. No, we shouldn't. I think we should agree to the meeting. Oh? Well, you see, we are the ones that owe an explanation. If we keep putting off the meeting, it could easily result in the problem escalating, right? It's like... like a fight between two friends. If they don't agree to see each other and talk in person, isn't it possible that the friendship could end entirely? Though diplomatic relations between Fontaine and Snezhnaya could be considered as friendly, it is only superficially so. You wouldn't go so far as to say that our nations are friends, as you did in your example. It was just an analogy. An analogy, okay? Moreover, even if we were to talk in person, if we don't have sufficient information prepared, it is quite possible the result wouldn't be restored relations, but a complete falling out. Hmm, I don't think we should overthink those possibilities yet. Ahem. Even if the logic of the Divine is not immediately apparent, its wisdom will only be revealed with time. Besides, you'll be at the meeting. If any problems do pop up, you'll have no problem navigating them. I must clarify that interacting and communicating with people outside of court is not my cup of tea. It seems you think too much of me. But more importantly, when did I agree to join the meeting with you? Uh, <laughs> you mean you won't come? No, 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 that, that won't do. I can't go to the meeting alone. You have to accompany me. I must take you with me. Lady Farina, could there be something else regarding this matter that is being kept from me? No, not at all. Look, I am the Hydro Archon of Fontaine, Thosalor, the god of justice who is loved and adored by many. So I only hope that justice will be served in this matter. Don't overthink it. I'll go find someone to arrange the meeting. <sighs> Though it could officially be considered a diplomatic conference, I prefer to see our meeting today as an ordinary tea party. I assume you see it the same way, Miss Farina? Hmm. Lady Farina? Uh, oh! <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. Just like you said, a tea party. <laughs> I should thank you for providing the pastries. They look delectable. To make this tea party even more lively, I've invited someone else to join us today. It's a pleasure to meet you, Monsieur Nouvellette. I was born in Fontaine, so naturally, there's no need to introduce the nation's revered Eudex to me. Hello. The pleasure is also mine. First, I would like to thank the two of you. I'm often away on business outside of Fontaine, and I'm told that the children of the House of the Hearth have been well taken care of by you. Uh... Oh, I'm not referring to when my children, Linny and Lynette, were falsely accused by you. Please don't misunderstand. The children of the House of the Hearth are often misunderstood, perhaps due to the reputation of the Fatui. There's no getting around that. All I meant to say is that Fontaine has been stable in recent years, 
the people are well off and the children lead happy, fulfilled lives. That is something truly worth cherishing, and no one wishes to disrupt such peace. Now then, you have come regarding the matter of child, correct? Well, yes. It appears the ever-busy Udex Nuvillette doesn't wish to waste time with diplomatic pleasantries, and hopes that we can get straight to the point of our talk. Yes, as you surmised, understanding child's situation is indeed one of the goals of this trip. As we are both diplomats from Snezhnaya, as well as Fatui Harbingers, Child and I have always been colleagues. Were anything to happen in Fontaine, each of us would serve as the other's attorney to resolve the issue. So now, in my capacity as his attorney, I request that Child be turned over to Snezhnaya. We have a responsibility to cooperate with Fontaine, and resolve what has happened to him together. The rules governing attorneys only apply before a trial has concluded. Since a verdict has already been rendered, we see the case as settled. I apologize for being unable to grant your request. An outright refusal. Very well. I respect all the rules of Fontaine's courts, just as I respect you as Chief Justice. Okay, why don't we back up a step? You don't need to transfer Child to us. I only request to enter the Fortress of Meripede to see Child and confirm his condition. It's not like you couldn't even manage to fulfill a simple request like that. Right, Miss Farina? Uh, um, about that. The Fortress of Meripede has always been completely autonomous. Even we have no authority to interfere there, and diplomatic issues do not suffice as an excuse. However, if you absolutely must confirm the situation of the Harbinger, I have a proposal.